the new Google Pixel Buds Pro and they have some insane features that make them one of the best wireless earphones out there. And before I blow your mind with what these can do, let's go over some controls. Straight off the bat, what is so great about these Pixel Buds is they will work on any Android phone so long as you have the Google Pixel Buds app. Okay, so if you take one of the buds out, whatever you're listening to or watching instantly pauses and as soon as you put the bud back in, it'll instantly start playing again. You can also do the same thing just by single tapping to pause and then just do another tap to play again. Really simple and pretty standard stuff, but then, and I love this one, if you swipe on the buds, you can actually control the volume. So swiping forward ups the volume. It does take a bit of getting used to, but you get the hang of it pretty quick and swiping back lowers the volume. Skipping tracks is also really simple. All you gotta do is just double tap to skip forward a song and triple tap if you wanna go back or restart the song. And these are the first Pixel Buds to ever have noise cancellation. So if you ever want noise cancellation on or off, all you gotta do is just tap and hold and just like that you can mute the whole world no matter where you are or what's going on. But the Pixel Buds have one other really cool noise cancellation feature that can actually measure the size of your ear. So you know how we always get these extra ear tips with our buds? Now Google has made a feature for the Pixel Buds that can measure which one best fits and gives you the best noise cancellation. So if you swipe down on the notification panel, then click and hold on Bluetooth, you'll see your Pixel Buds and within the settings, you'll see ear tip seal check. So of course you pop in your buds and then when you tap start, it'll actually start playing a song to do a test and after the test, it'll let you know if you need to change your ear tip or not, or if everything is a-okay and that your noise cancellation will work great. And now all you gotta do is turn it on on your phone or you can just tap and hold on your bud, it'll turn it on and you'll get about seven hours of battery life with noise cancellation on or 11 hours with it off. Next to noise cancellation, you'll also find one more setting called transparency mode. And all this does is uses the microphone in your buds to pick up on all the different sounds around you so you can still hear them with your buds on. You can also use this mode to get rid of any pressure that's built up in your ears, which is pretty damn nifty, but maybe not as nifty as this next feature. Okay, so pairing the Pixel Buds to your phone, other phones, or even your laptop is surprisingly easy. As soon as you open up the lid, you'll get this pop-up message to pair them. But the cool thing is, if you open up the lid and turn them around, then click and hold on this back button for a few seconds until you see this front light start flashing, then you can actually connect them to another device. Just make sure that in settings you have multi-point toggled on, but now you can have your buds connected to multiple different devices. So let's say you've connected them to your phone and your laptop. Well, they'll automatically know which one you're using and quickly switch. So if you're listening to music on your laptop or watching a video but get a call on your phone, they'll do a quick switcheroo and as soon as you're done with the phone call and hang up, it'll automatically switch back to your laptop. So I totally love this feature because they'll work on any Bluetooth device, including iPhones and even MacBooks. But what happens if you lose one of your Pixel Buds? So if you do ever lose your Pixel Buds, then here are two ways you can find them. The first way is if you've lost them somewhere nearby and they're still connected to your phone. Within settings, you'll see the option that says find device. If you tap on that, you then get the option to ring the left bud, the right bud, or both. The sound does gradually increase as you try to find them and then it's just a matter of playing Marco Polo until you find your butt. But what if they aren't connected to your phone anymore? Then the second way is to go to the Google Find My Device app, tap on your buds, and then see exactly when and where they were last connected to your phone. So that is how your phone finds your Pixel Buds, but your Pixel Buds can help you find your phone too. So for that to work, you do just need to set up Google Assistant first. It's super duper simple to set up, like super simple. You literally just follow the steps, run through the setup, and then you're pretty much good to go. And now to find your phone, all you gotta do is tap and hold and say, find my phone. 
found a few cell phones. The first listed is your Google Pixel 6 Pro. Should I ring it? Yes. All right, your Google Pixel 6 Pro should be and ringing now. now. She'll start ringing your phone. That simple. This will only work if you've got a Google account, so just make sure you've added one. And another really useful feature with Google Assistant is you can ask it to take selfies or photos for you. But Google Assistant doesn't just end there. So if you go back into Google Assistant settings, you'll find this feature, Spoken Notifications. And inside it, you can switch on which messages you'd like Google to actually read to you. So now you can just tap and hold and ask Google to read all your messages, or you can even ask her to send messages for you. What messages do I have? Mike Haddon said, are we still on for dinner tonight? Do you want to reply? Yes. Okay, what's the message? Sure thing, I'll see you at eight. Okay, it's sent. This feature alone makes the Pixel Buds crazy useful, but this next feature takes them to a completely new level. So we all kind of know about the Google Translate app, but these buds make it so much better. All you do is open the app, tap on conversation. So now if you click and hold and say, help me speak French, Google will automatically open the Google Translate app and then you can just click and hold on your bud again and she will translate every single thing you are saying in French. Et elle traduira tout ce que vous dites en français. Then when the other person is ready to reply, they just need to tap on their language, say whatever it is they need to say, and then Google will translate it back into your language and it's super accurate. So this is totally bonkers because Google can translate up to 117 different languages. So if you ever wanted to go anywhere in the world and chat with anyone, now you can. Super cool. The Pixel Buds Pro can actually charge wirelessly, which is awesome, and the case adds an impressive 31 hours of listening time. Once again, within settings under touch controls, you can actually customize the different settings of each bud. So if you wanted to change what touch and hold does, you could quite easily do that to suit whatever it is you want. And while these don't have the most advanced EQ settings I've ever seen, if you love your bass, you can toggle on volume EQ. And what this does is just adds more bass to your music when you're listening to it at lower volumes. These buds are honestly amazing. And later this year, they'll even be getting spatial audio. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section. And if you're an Android lover, then definitely check out these two videos. But I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!